First of all, soak your paper for 4 to 5 minutes for £140 or 2 to 3 minutes for £90. Remove from the water and place on a clean surface. Place the board face down on the paper. You'll notice an overlap of 3 quarters of an inch all round to trap the paper. Now place the towel over the surface and press down lightly to remove air bubbles under the paper and excess water from the surface. Bend the paper over the edge of the board and then nip all four corners with the finger and thumb. Holding the board and paper stand the board on its long edge. The board comes with four flexible plastic rods. These are used to grip the paper in the groove all round the edge of the board. Place the first longest rod on the paper over the groove at the edge of the board and then using a wooden mallet tap the rod into the groove trapping the paper. Then turn the board over and this time hold the paper between your finger and thumb and pull very lightly in order to create tension across the board. This time as you tap the rod into the groove the paper is being physically stretched as it is being forced into the groove. The beauty about this is that you are not just relying on the drying process. Being held in tension, it also tightens more when it dries, enabling the painter to have a perfectly stable flat surface no matter how wet the wash. Continue to tap in the rods on the shorter sides using the same process of holding the paper with your finger and thumb while trapping the rod into the groove. This is very easy to do. Once the paper is fixed on the board, you can let the paper dry naturally, dry quicker on the radiator or faster still with a hair dryer. This way it's ready to use immediately.